It's Brian Preston, the money guy. So we've already talked about that, you know, when the markets do their thing, people can't predict it. People can't actually predict it. So trying to focus on when the markets are going to be up, when the markets are going to be down is likely to be futile. If we can't control that, then we ought to shift our focus and focus on things that we can control, things that are under our realm of control. The behavioral type things and the big things, here's what you can control. Taxes. You can be very proactive on how you plan for taxes. You can pay attention to fees mm-hmm. so you know what's going on and what you're paying for while you invest. Your asset allocation. Yep, how you spread your, your assets tax out. tax location of your investments between taxable, tax deferred, as well as tax free. Yep. And then last, your risk exposure. Exactly. I mean, you can control every one of these things. And then a big thing that I think people, we look, we know it. And when we're talking about risk exposure, we're also talking about the fact that we know at some point. It could be decades away, but at some point, we're all leaving this awesome planet that we live on. So you need to plan for the future. Warren Buffett in the 2019, that's the one that just came out, Letter to Shareholders, he lets everybody know that he has created an estate plan that figures out what's going to happen to Berkshire Hathaway after he's no longer here. Because Warren's in his 80s. He knows that this is a scary time for investors of Berkshire Hathaway. They're probably wondering, well, what happens to Berkshire Hathaway stock? Warren owns so many mm-hmm. shares of it. Is this thing going to be dumped and sold as soon as he as passes, as he away. passes yeah. away and the, and the stock price is going to get destroyed? He came out and he said, no, no. Uh, look, I've written in my estate documents, I've written into the trust, and I've even written a waiver of liability that Berkshire Hathaway stock I've instructed everybody, do not sell this when I pass away because I've left it in capable hands. Mm -hmm. And then I've got a systematic plan that over the next 12 to 15 years, we will be diversifying out of it. So what do you take from that? You listen to that and you go, okay, this guy is worth $81 billion. What's the teachable moment within all that? The teachable moment is, is that if Warren Buffett has an estate plan, So should you. And what should go into a good estate plan? Yeah, so pretty much the basics are you want to have your last will and testament, which kind of says, you know, how I want my assets to be distributed, what my wishes are after I pass. You want to make sure that you have appropriate life insurance, you have health care directives, you know, who's going to make health care decisions for if you can't. You want to make sure if you have any sort of trust structures that are needed, whether that be for probate purposes or to protect yourself from creditor purposes or to protect children purposes, you understand your estate plan. And then you want to make sure you even have things like disability insurance in place. Even if you don't hit the big one, but you're just kind of out of commission for a while, you want to make sure that you have your family covered. Yeah. Make sure that if you are taken out on a Tuesday afternoon, your family's protected. And that leads to the last point that we had about what you can control is obviously your behavior. Don't get bought into the panic and the fear-mongering, and the media. I mean, it creates this storm of opportunity for you really to get distracted and not act in your financial best interest. So be very aware of those things. So we think there are nine life-changing lessons that we can all learn from Uncle Warren. I'm going to run back through them really quick. Number one, make the most of your mind and body. Number two, take the extra steps that other people aren't willing to take. Number three, connecting with others matters. Learn how to do it well. Number four, make your money work as hard as you do. Number five, being a contrarian Mm -hmm. can be profitable. Number six, time is your friend. Number seven, optimism is a good thing. Number eight, keep your emotions in check. And number nine, know what you can control. So we have taken a man's career that has spanned decades and kind of brought it into a lot of teachable quotes that Warren has shared, as well as from our own research of the Oracle of Omaha. This is one of those things where I feel like in our own little way, just like Warren has the letter to shareholders that has become such a valuable resource, it has become an annual tradition for us. We like to think that we've also kind of come into your financial life as a tradition that you like. And part of what we're trying to do to expand and influence and make that even better for you is we have created a resource page. Mm -hmm. If you go to moneyguy.com, you'll see we have our resource page and there's all kinds of things. I mean, we talk about the behaviors of millionaires. We talk about the money multiplier. We talk about taxes. I mean, there are so many powerful things. If you're looking to better your financial life, you have to go check out our Money Guy resource page, moneyguy.com. Really powerful for you. Also, look up here behind me. I have a timer, a, a, a counter 
that we are steadily marching towards 100,000 YouTube subscribers, but it's not going to get accomplished by 1231 unless I get your help. Go subscribe, ring the bell button, enabling notifications so that we can continue to reach those goals that we're searching for. And then the last thing, why do we do this? Why is this such a free resource where we want you to come learn, apply, grow? What's the catch? Why would we just continue to give you and love on you for all these years since 2006? Is because we understand that doing good things for good people, creating success in your life is probably going to create opportunities That's for right. us too. So if you we plant the seeds within you and then years later you reach a level of success that you need to take the relationship to the next level, you're going to remember who planted the seed. And that's where the abundance cycle kicks in and you will reach out to the Money Guy team. Bo, this was a great episode. This was a great episode. We look forward to it every year. Thank you so much for allowing us to spend some time with you. We're going to keep the shows coming your way. Money Guy team, out. <laughs>